everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another review, and today's review is of the Creator 3-in-1 Bike Shop Cafe. This set has 1,023 pieces, it is ages 9 to 14, and it's set number 31026, Bike Shop and Cafe. Normally, I don't review Creator sets because I don't build all three models, I just build the one, but this set is too cool not to do a little review on. So I'm going to review this model that you see here. I will not be reviewing any of the other models, the two alternate models. So let's take a look at the minifigures of the set. Here's the very first figure here. We'll do a 360 on him quickly. He's very wobbly, I don't know. I've gotta fix this somehow, how the figures are wobbly. But before that, you don't care about that. So here we have the torso here, and it's the same as my Sig Fig torso, the nice classic. It's like a classic city, comes in almost every modular. It's got the, the blue tie and the white arms and the blue buttons and stuff like that. He's wearing dark blue pants. He's got a cool face on. He's got, you know, glasses and the eyebrows, and then he's got the hair to match the eyebrows. So that's very cool. We'll just do one last 360 on this minifigure before we get another minifigure. So this set is actually golden for my Sig Fig parts. It contains two of the, I guess it only contains two of the five that I need, but still, pretty cool. Let's take a look at the next minifigures. We got another man here. This man has the dark tan pants on, as long as the orange shirt that is covering like a blue shirt sort of thing, a blue t-shirt with an orange jack sweatshirt on. He's actually got my Sig Fig face on and the same Sig Fig hair, but his is black and mine is brown. We'll just do a 360 of him here. He does have back printing, unlike the last figure. He's got the hood part of his hoodie on the back. And I really like this torso. It is a very cool torso. Let's take a look at the last minifigure, the only woman in this set. So here is the final minifigure, the only girl minifigure in this set. She's got the blue pants on along with a blue torso. She's got, you know, the cla pretty much the classic girl smile in the Lego line. And then she's got dark, dark brown hair with a ponytail. She has back printing as well as front printing. And she's wearing, like, this the girl shirt because, and you know, it's a girl shirt quote-unquote girl shirt because they have the lines there to make her curvy or whatever but I think if they're gonna make the men look well one way they should make the woman the same way but that doesn't really matter before we show you the final buildings we have to take a look at this really awesome car that you get in this cute little set this cute little car I mean it is very cool it is the yellow car and it you know it might just be my sig rig I don't know yet it has the it's, it's a weird window it's long it's not it's short and it's also long at the back here continuing with the 360 here it's got a clip on the back not entirely sure what that's for maybe if you wanted to put like a dolly on it or something like that to drive it around not sure I can look at the box to see what they're doing but from the looks of it I'm going to go out on a limb here, it doesn't show you this, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say the guy bought the bike, and he's trying to put it on the back of his car, which, whatever, it is cool, we'll show you what the figure does look like when you put it in, I just grabbed a random figure, it's not, does not necessarily mean that this figure, that's this figure's car, but any other figure will be the same size, and you can clearly see that the windshield does not even cover his torso, so this is a convertible that he likes to stand high on it's because there's an extra plate in here with but the instructions called for the plate so don't know what that's all about but it doesn't really matter it's still a cool car we'll just do a last 360 on it the wheels are something that I wanted to mention when I was building this I knew how noticed how really cool the wheels were I had never seen these wheels in another set before except this one so that is pretty cool here are the two buildings in the set. As you can see, they are both, they're not attached because you can move them. They're both very similarly built, not in looks, but in structure. This one is a corner building, but this one is not. They are not actually built on the same size plate either, but they have the same style. 
So if you want, this is before I get individ individual into these buildings, if you wanted to connect these two buildings, all that you need to do is take this, I don't have a brick separator and I can't get it with my fingers while I'm trying to videotape, take this six, one by six tile and these two by three, take them all, move the one by six here and put both one by three here and the buildings will be a little connected. They do this now so they're easily play features and they both actually go a different little way. First, we're gonna take a look. This is the first building you build when you build this model, so we're gonna take a look at that building first. Get this one out of the way here and set it on the floor. And this is what it looks like, and you can actually change the look of it by opening it up. So yes, you can open it up for either play features, or you could actually still have the building maybe like this in your city or something like that, because it does work and it does attach this way, so if you had more space you wanted to fill up, you could always ha use this building to fill up that little like leftover space. But for the time being now, I'm gonna just put it back to the original form and I'm gonna show you the features of it. So here's the very front of the building here. They have a big picture window at the front where you can see sort of a bike shop, a bike, because it is a bike shop. And then this awning, which they're very nice colors used in the awning. The door here opens and it's got a gold, like a solid gold doorknob, I guess you could say. It's got this nice little flower pot up front, which I'm gonna zoom in and show you. Nice little flower pot. Haven't you seen that technique used actually for the flower pot? And here's the front of the building, like I already said, and the nice awning. And I believe that's a sand green, or maybe, no, it's olive green, not sand green. And then up here, it's, it's like a blue down here, and up here is a nice white color scheme. It's like an apartment up to the very top of the floor where we have dark red, dark red roof slopes and more. And there's lots of uses, not a ton of uses, but not there's some different uses of snot and brick here. So that's what the front looks like here with nice door, and then nice door, I mean. And then at the back here, we have some nice techniques, I guess, used here we have some of the grill bricks as I call them with one window the blue and the white and all the grays have continued all the way back and there's one tan window on the back here here's another tan window grill piece and then this is like here this is like a loading dock so this actually opens up but it's hard to do it without it with nails and I don't have good nails but here are stairs so they a truck could come up here unload everything throw it in the back here here's a light like it so it does look like a real loading dock and it goes into the store the flower pot as I talked about earlier the nice flower pot it is nice but it does not stay up very well it is constantly falling over just the slightest little bump I should have mentioned this earlier but I forget the slightest little bump will knock it over knock it off kilter Trying to move this set into my studio because I didn't build it in here was a nightmare. It was falling all over the place. Just couldn't keep it up. I don't know if I like the back here the way it is. I kind of wish they would have continued the blue pattern, but they didn't. But they do give you a brick if you want to continue the blue pattern yourself. And here's the top. We'll go. Should I? I'll I'll show you the outside of the building before I go on to the inside. The top here is an apartment building. I, very, I really like the details used in the windows with the nice archways. And see, that super plant fell again. And the nice arches here. This part is covered, not no windows on this part because if it does open up, it attaches to the other building. Here we have some more nice arch windows. Really like them. Again, on this side, some more nice arched windows. The very top here, which is hard to get to with the camera, but I'm going to, is this, it's an, I really like what they did here. It's a nice balcony with a cool barbecue on top. So there's a stairs from inside the shop where you can come up, like a ladder, come through these the patio. Up here is a barbecue where you can, you know, grill some chicken and you'll see out, see out into the city. And then here's just the roof details on the front as well. Just the big slopes with some nice detailing. Open the building up here. I think we have to zoom back down, but I'll show you how that. Open the building up and here is this really cool 
building on the inside. I, bear, I really like it actually. So starting at the bottom here, we have right where the loading dock is. It is neat how it, she show it here, but that's what the inside of the loading dock does look like. There's like a conveyor belt here, so everything comes in here, slides down the conveyor belt, and it's in the back storeroom. I, there was another tool here, but I think we're missing that, and I think I know exactly where it is. And this clip is not doing much, I don't think. I think there's, it almost looks like there should be something here. Maybe I'll have to look on the box, but I don't know. Here's the ladder to get up to the apartment for somebody to get up there. And then here's the other side of the bike shop. We have the bike on the display here. This is where the cashier will stand. And this is where the uh, buildings connect. And that's just to see, there's a little clip here and it connects, but I'm not gonna do it all the way. And it's actually got another connector out here. So the building can connect like that. And here's what the whole the whole building looks like, all connected. Turn it around here, and this is what the interior again looks like. So this is like a nice loft up here. The beautiful I think they're beautiful windows. They look really nice. There's a kitchen with a nice faucet and sink with a little a small little stove and some kitchen set. And then a banister where the, another ladder goes up so you can go up into the apartment or go up some more and out the, t the terrace you could call it. Here's just like a bedroom and the way they've done it is there's a, the window still there so you can kind of see into the other room. And then here's just the bed. It's a you know, mini figure size bed. Very nice. That's the one building. My, I think that's probably my favorite building. It took the longest to build. This one is a little bit more easier, the cafe part of the building, but let's take the bike shop away and we'll take a look at the cafe part. So this cafe is very neat. It is, it is a corner building because it does not work the same way as this other building does, but as on the corner, it is a smaller building as you can sort of see. It doesn't look it from this side, but it is a smaller building. I really like, this is the first part we'll talk about here, the bottom floor. I really like this detailing here. It look, makes it look like there are curtains on the inside of the cafe. It adds nice detail and makes it look like, you know, a nice cafe. Out front here, we have this little seating area where somebody can eat, drink some coffee. And here's the door into the cafe. Like the last building, it has a gold handle. On the corner here, we have an ATM and the ATM actually opens and there is cash inside. It's got the computer up here, the pin panel, and it's got some money to show you it's an ATM. The back here we have some stairs that are built right into the building actually, so you cannot take them out once they're already in place, which is good because they're sturdy. I like sturdy stairs. And then here we just have like a, I think that's supposed to be an exhaust pipe or something like that. Just something detailed that you might have. And then there's a back door that leads to the alleyway. Nothing in here, just a window and then some more space here. We'll move up to the top floor here. And then here's another like apartment loft, I guess you call it. This is a bit different, this door, because it actually swings inwards. So say I accidentally, like I did, I've opened it up. It is quite difficult to reach your finger in there and get it. So in order to do that, you have to turn it around to the other back door, stick your finger in, shut that door, shut this door, and there you have it. Here at the front, we have this nice little balcony, which I was showing you. That's why there is a door there with this a nice window. And it is really nice detail with the cones and the round bricks and the grays. And it's just very nice with the windows here. We have like a little flower potter here on the arches of the door. Here's what this side looks like. We have a nice a cafe sign. We have the cho uh, coffee mug there and like a flower here, where I think it's supposed to mean like maybe a pastry or something like that at the cafe. The detail from the front is continued here on back. And we have another blue door, which is a very nice addition to the set. I think the blue door. We'll move the camera up here to the roof area where it is a very cool roof. Not, it doesn't look like much. There's no barbecue like the other house or anything, but there is a nice little garden with a bird floating, or not floating, flying, just sitting there. It comes with this 
interesting trap door so that's how you would get up from the apartment here that's what the apartment down below looks like with a trap door to get onto the roof there are lots of nice roof details with the slopes here and then the fence pieces all along the back I really like that we'll zoom back out here and then we'll take a look what, what this building looks like when you open it up on the inside like we did the last building so unlike this the last building this building opens up differently it opens up here at the street level and it actually makes two different buildings so that is that's it definitely looks a lot better than the other one when it's taken apart this one is definitely more for play features I think that how it comes apart but you could really do whatever you want you could have both buildings in like a park maybe down in the middle who knows but let's spin it around here's the again the balcony area we'll start over here balcony area with one little chair here minifigure comes in but there are nice window detailings over here in the second loft area this is the back door doors on two sides along with there's just a nice little flower pot or some flower pot or a lamp or something there's no bed in this one and here on the wall this is the ladders to get up to the balcony to climb up to get to the roof we'll go down here to the very first floor again and this is the cafe so this is the back this you know this is the front whoops my camera started to slide sorry about that this is the front of the cafe here we have a table with an under the light and we have the nice curtains coming down just because it is a nice fancy cafe and then on the other side which is the back we have the actual the coffee machine the pastry part we have the cashier a mug on the wall and then this is what it looks like when it closes up like the last one and it is very neat I love these two buildings these are going to go in my city and I think they're going to look great. Here's what they look like again together, and this is how I probably am going to put them, not separate them. Thanks so much for watching this review by Brick Lover 18 of set number 31026, The Bike Shopping Cafe. This set is ages 9 to 14 and has 1,023 pieces. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Also, don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.